How are hurricane names chosen? In the beginning, storms were given arbitrary names. An Atlantic storm that ripped the mast off a boat named Aunt Jay became known as Aunt Jay's Hurricane. Then, in the mid-1900s, people started using female names for storms. Then, meteorologists decided to introduce a more organized and efficient system, taking names instead from a list arranged alphabetically. The first storm to occur in a year would be assigned a name beginning with A, and so on. Before the end of the 1900s, forecasters used male names for storms forming in the Southern Hemisphere. Since 1953, storms in the Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico and the North Atlantic have been named from lists drawn up by the National Hurricane Center. They are now maintained and updated by an international committee of the WMO. The original list featured only women's names and in 1979, men's names were introduced, and now they alternate each year. Six lists are used in rotation, so the list for 2016 will be used again in 2022.